So, I was about to go to sleep, and then I realized, shit, I forgot to make this video. <laughs> um, so, fucking, I'm doing it right now. Um, Auto Club 400, yeah. That was alright. That shit was fucking weird. It actually wasn't weird. It was, it was pretty boring. But also, it got fun at times. It was fun at times. And then other times, it was boring. Um... Dude, can I just say right now, Christopher Bell is not going to be shit. He's not. I, 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 fall, I fall in love with these rookies. I fall in love with these young guys. And everybody keeps saying they're going to be something. They're going to be something. But every, every, every fucking week, this week was, the, was an exception. Because Alex Bowman won. But it feels like every single week, it's the same six drivers who win. It really is. What's so interesting about NASCAR, if it's the same six drivers most weeks, and there's no fucking young talent coming up anymore. And when they do, they don't do shit. Eric Jones has two wins in the last fucking... He's been in the Cup Series how long? Since 2017, he has two wins. Alex Bowman has two wins. Blaney has three wins. Elliot has El Chase Elliott's still like actually like the star power that I see, but that took him a long time. Even I mean, Larson, Larson's been in the Cup. Remember, remember, remember 2014. Larson was the guy that we all looked at as like this guy is something. This guy is really fucking something. And he has five wins, I'm going to say. Five, yeah, five wins, I think. Six, maybe. Michigan 2016, Michigan 2017, or, or Fontana 2017, Michigan 2017, and then Michigan 2017 again, Richmond 2017, and then Dover 2019. So that's five. I didn't even keep count as I was... Fucking Michigan 2016, Fontana 2017, Michigan 2017, Michigan 2017 again. So six, yes, yeah, six. Six wins, and he's been around for six years. I mean, this is his seventh year. Well, this is Larson's seventh year. Holy shit. That's insane. Is it just me, or I, I've always felt like the number six and the number seven is just a huge difference. I don't know what it is. It feels like just a huge difference. Like, if someone's been around for seven years, that's big. You know? Like, like I, I don't know. It feels like six years and then seven years is just like a difference of like, oh, that's cool. Of like, it, seven sounds so much more impressive than six. But six doesn't sound so much more impressive than five. I don't know. My brain's weird. I don't know. But yeah, there's just no, like, young star power coming up anymore. And it sucks. Like, we always see, like, like Bubba was supposed to be great. Nope. I mean, Matt DiBenedetto was supposed to be great. Nope. I'm, I just don't get excited about young guys anymore. I just got to gotta learn to just not be excited about these young guys anymore. Because it's like... Honestly, NASCAR has started to become like F1, where it's like, you know, you can really just predict who's going to win every week, pretty much. Like, it's always going to be one of six guys, pretty much. This week, like I said, was the exception. Alex Bowman kicked everyone's ass. But it's always going to be Harvick, Bush, Hamlin, Kozlowski, uh, Logano. Or fucking who? Harvick, Bush, Logano, Hamlin, Truex. And then Kozlowski, yeah. So there's always one of six guys every week. Really is, besides, like I said, this week. So I just don't get excited about young star power anymore. Which honestly sucks. Because I, I remember over the off season, 
I was tweeting constantly about like how Cole Custer needed to be in the Cup Series like last year, full time. I mean, uh, maybe he's just off to a slow start. I uh, it's our. I mean, I might be just jumping the gun a little too bit, but like I just know, I know from experience how this shit works. I know from history, we get super excited about these young guys. And they don't do much of anything. And if they do, it just takes a super long time. And then even after that, they just don't do much. Like Chase Elliott, like, yeah, he's good. But he just hasn't really turned into, like, the guy yet. Like, you know, we used to see, like, Jeff Gordon. Like, dude, if we could have another Jeff Gordon come in, that'd be amazing. Like, if we could have another, like, Matt Kenseth come in. Like, I, who's... I try to think about it a lot. Like, who's... Have we had any drivers, like, that joined this deck Or, like, in the 2010s that became just a huge star? Like, because Kozlowski joined in 2009. His career really rose in the 2010s. But, like, he joined in 2009. Like, so did Logano. Like... But his career jumped in the 2010s. But has there really been any guy that has started in the 2010s who has just made, like, a really, really good career out of himself? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, unfortunately, I don't think so. Not that I can think of. Yeah. I mean, it sucks, but that's just the case. The most wins out of anybody who has started in two thousand in the two thousand tens, and I'm talking full time. If they made like one start in two thousand nine, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking like full time, in the two thousand tens. I I think is like six, which is Larson. <laughs> it's so fucking sad to think about because like, if you go back in the two thousands. And you would ask that question, I don't even know what it would be. It'd be just so many fucking great drivers who came up in the 2000s. And it's just not the case anymore. It really sucks because I don't... Just, I'm telling you guys, don't get excited about young guys anymore. Because it's just nothing's going to happen. That was a long-ass rant. We still have to talk about the race. Uh, the race was kind of boring. But there was good at some parts. I remember they were like three wide for the lead at some point. Johnson and Blaney and Bowman, I think. That was fun. I was really hoping Johnson could, like, do something today. Which, I think he finished, like... Where did he finish? I think he finished, like, fifth. So, that's something. Um, Boyer. That caution came out for Boyer. Dude, NASCAR fans are so annoying on Twitter. They complain about cautions. <laughs> they can... You know what cautions breed? Restarts, which can breed more cautions, You like like last week. <laughs> that was fun. Or the Xfinity race. Um, like, restarts. That's what a caution means, a restart. <laughs> uh, I saw Jeff Gluck. He posted on Twitter after the Boyer. He was like, uh, why was that a caution? He didn't even hit the wall or anything. Uh, like, it doesn't make sense. The dude had a tire down. That was caution worthy. Like it Obviously, yeah, they could have kept going. But like, come on. If we can have a caution, let's do it. Please. Like let's If there's an excuse to have a caution, let's have a caution. Even if realistically, like, yeah, they could have gotten by without it. Like, remember all those debris cautions? Like that was fun. Like <laughs> Even though, like, it really didn't mean anything. Like, it was still, like, restarts. Like, do you guys, like, are, do we not fucking know how to be NASCAR fans anymore? Do we just want to, because then we'll complain about nothing happening always. Like, we'll complain about a caution because it wasn't really deserving of being a caution. Fans say, let's let these races play out. But then when they do, then they're like, oh, it was boring. I'm like, fuck you. 
Let's just have cautions. I wish we would go back to like the old cu culture of NASCAR where there'd just be so many cautions. You know? Like they'd have these like debris cautions. I don't remember the last time there was a debris caution. Besides, yesterday during the Xfinity race, when that big ass fucking tire was on the track, which was actually a legitimate excuse to have a caution. But like, I don't remember the last time there was actually a debris caution. Like a legitimate. Or, like, a unlegitimate debris caution, you know? Like, how there used to be, like, a water bottle on the track, and they'd pull out a caution for that. Like, I don't remember something like that. I don't remember the last time that happened. It's been years. At, at least from what I can remember. Um, though, I don't like the stages, because that's not even a reason to have a caution. But, yeah. Uh... Blaney, yeah, he fucking did shit. Like, he was doing great, and then he had to pit with two to go. I just would not have pit. I don't know why he pit. I would have kept going, because then if something did happen, then there could have been a caution. Yay! Um, But I don't think anything was going to happen. I think he just sh should have just stayed out, honestly. But uh, he's still the points leader right now, which is cool. Um... Could Blaney win the championship this year? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, all right. Um, Xfinity race. Oh, I got to read the cup race. Cup race was... Uh, there was good moments. I'm going to put it a 6.5 out of 10. Yeah. 6.5. Um... Xfinity race. The Xfinity race was great. That was a fun race. Um, it was boring for, like, the first half. But then, like, the second half, like, that shit was fun. It was, like, caution after caution, wreck after wreck. And then not to mention the finish was amazing. Like, the final laps were amazing. Uh, that final restart was amazing. Like, I was on the edge of my seat. The finish was amazing. And then not to mention a first-time winner. And then to see fucking Kim Burton's reaction, that was fun. Uh, dude, she's always so... I remember my mom used to hate Kim Burton. She used to be like, she's so annoying. I remember we were at New Hampshire in 2011. And my mom was like, who's the 31 car again? And I was like, Jeff Burton. And she's like, Ugh! I remember she literally had like mayonnaise on her fucking tongue. She was like, Ugh! I was like, oh, what the fuck? And she was like, I don't like his wife. <laughs> I was like, oh. And then, remember she, like, bashed him on Twitter one time. Or bashed her on Twitter one time. I was like, damn, you really don't like his wife. Um, I don't mind her. I think she's awesome. I think I think she's pretty fun. I think I love her passion. I love how, like, emotional she is on the pit box. Um, I think it's fun. I like that. But my mom always thought it was annoying. <laughs> I can see where she's coming from, though. Because, it, it, like, I remember every time, like, Jeff Burton would be leading, the entirety of the time he would be leading, she was just crying. Like, <laughs> so, but she doesn't do that much anymore. She just tweets, like, about the race on Twitter, and she's very passionate, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Xfinity race is great, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, peace.